Hello viewers, welcome once more to the GC panel online. In this particular tutorial, we are looking at question 5 of June 2022, paper 2, Pure Math Statistics and Pure Math Mechanics, paper 2. Please watch this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, to leave your comments so that you can motivate us to make more videos for you and help out the student community that is suffering difficultly out there. We wish you the best as you prepare for your exams. Don't forget to share our videos on To share our videos on Facebook and on different WhatsApp groups. Thank you so much. So this question five reads: the sum of the six and eight terms of an arithmetic progression is forty. The seventh term of this progression is four times the second term. Find the first term and the common difference. So we start by analyzing the first part of the equation, which says the sum of the six and eight terms. We know that the sixth term, c six is equal to the first term plus 5 times the common difference. So T6 equals A plus 5D. And equally, uh, the eighth term is the first term plus 7 times the common difference. So we are being told here that the sum of these two terms equals 40. Okay? So here we are going to have um, 2A plus 12D equals 40 when we add uh, A plus A to A. 5d plus 7d equals 12d. So, dividing all through by 2, we have a plus 6d equals 20. Alright, now the second part of the equation reads, the seventh term of this progression is 4 times the second term. So, the seventh term, c7, is given by a plus 6d, and the second term is given by a plus d. Now, this seventh term is 4 times the second term. What does this imply? That a plus 6d is equal to 4 into a plus d. This brings us the second equation, where we have 3a minus 2d equals 0. And from here... From these two equations, a equals 2 and z equals 3. Now, the b part of the equation says if you find the least number of terms required for the sum of the progression to exceed 1000. So, the b part, the sum needs to exceed 1000. Okay? And how do we get the sum of the first n terms of an AP? Uh, this is given by n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d, and that should be greater than 1000. Here our d is 3 and our a is 2. So we substitute this into this equation and uh, we simplify. So when we simplify, what we have is n over 2 into 3n plus 1 is greater than 1000. So that gives us a quadratic inequality with 3n squared plus n minus 2000 is greater than 0. And from here, you can calculate our discriminate, which gives us 24,001. So from here, n is greater than 26. So since n is greater than 26, our n should be equal to 27. So that's the least number of terms. That should give us a sum that exceeds 1,000. Guys, as you watch this video, don't forget to share this video. There is no need for you... So keep on watching this video and others cannot benefit because you have knowledge about them. So make sure you share out this video and you can equally join us online for classes and all of that. You can contact us from the, the link uh, that is shown in this video for any other queries and so on. Let's look at the B part of the equation which is on calculus. So given that y equals sine x or in x, find the y dx. So, uh, this is a product, it's a composite function with products. So, here we're going to do is uh, we're going to apply the product rule and uh, we keep, we hold sine x and differentiate lin x that gives us 1 on x plus lin x now times the derivative of sine x which is cos x. Uh, this first part of the equation is straight. So that gives us 1 on x sine x plus cos x lin x. Now the D part, we have, uh, given the parametric equations, x is equal to 1 plus t cubed and y equals t plus t to the power 4, find the y dx in terms of the parameter t. 
With this question, I will advise you to find the x, the t, uh, the y, the t, and then you now express that. Here, yeah, or you can equally decide to uh, first of all get the Cartesian equation, which is going to be stressful for you. I advise that you don't even do this. So, this first method is the best. Remember, the most important thing in an exam is speed and accuracy. You need to go very fast and you need to be accurate. So, you use the shortest method possible, which is explicit. From here, our dx dt will be equal to 3t squared, and uh, dy dt will be equal to t plus 4t cubed. So now we have dy dx to be equal to uh, dy dt times dt on dx. Okay, so that just gives us 1 plus 4t cubed, all that on 3t squared. So we're going to assume as dy dt on dt dx. Mm? So that is it in terms of the parameter t. Don't forget to subscribe, to leave your comments, and to watch question 6 to 10. Thank you so much, and bye-bye. GC Panel.